NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. Today's program was furnished by a grant from the Beanery Depot in Delhi, featuring coffee, made to order subs, and snacks. The Beanery Depot in Delhi, in Mahoning Town. Today's programming furnished by a grant from Joseph's Supermarket. Special thanks to Joseph's. This is just not another cook in the castle. This is a special cook in the castle. Yes. And do you know why? We've been chosen to participate in, yes, the first FFB, Food Football Bowl. Yeah, see, we got we had our own league, and this week we're going to introduce you to the Philadelphia Philly steak sandwich. Next week we'll work on that New England thing, but I think you're going to it's it's okay. I'm rooting for Philadelphia, but I got to be impartial. Now, wait. We have breaking news. Let's get to this. Spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of sports. Yes, and this just in. Hoagie injured playing racquetball. Wait a second. Hoagies can't play racquetball. They got no legs. They got no arms. What? Hoagie entry. This could only mean one thing. Was Johnny Latina trying to play racquetball? I, let's go to the videotape that was just sent in from our affiliates and check this out. The thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. The Philadelphia Philly steak sandwich. Next week we'll work on that New England thing. But I think you're going to, it's, it's okay, I'm rooting for Philadelphia, but I got to be impartial. And that's what we're going to show you today, right here, all on Cooking the Castle. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. This program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. Okay, these are the ingredients we'll be using for our Philadelphia Eagles cheese steak, onion, some garlic, some nice steak. Now we kept the Swiss cheese in the refrigerator. No use to you know what Swiss cheese is. This isn't your first game. Now we have our liner. We're going to add our steak uh, to this and season it with 
a little onion powder, a little black pepper, a little garlic powder, and some garlic all through it. There, notice our seasoning. Now we're going to add garlic, butter, and our onion and pepper to this beautiful mixture. This program, furnished by a grant from Ferone Brothers, two locations, Newcastle on Mill Street and Wilmington Road in Newcastle. Now you can see our salt, our pepper, and just our seasoning, garlic, pepper, uh, onion, our butter that we've added, onions, and of course our steak. Now we've added uh, also a little bit of water to this to make it come nice and moist and um, look, look out because this Philadelphia Philly steak is going to be coming to you in about four to six. A special thank you to Tuscany Square Restaurant, Wilmington and Mitchell Roads for providing funding for this program. Now, if you only had smell -o vision there's our Philly cheesesteak that we're going to put right in our Italian hoagie roll and then bake in the oven. Now we're going to top it with a white cheese. You can use Swiss, you can use uh, provolone, or anything you would like. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. Now, if you could see, we put the cheese on the bottom top that we're going to wrap it. We'll bake it in the oven for just a few minutes to get it nice and crispy and melty. Now, notice how the cheese is all melty. Nice and toasty. You can serve it up with chips, the Philadelphia Eagle, Philly Steak. Special thanks to Little Johnny's 2 downtown who provided funding for this program. Funding for this program furnished by Mary's Turner's Day Spa. Wilmington Road, Neshanic Township, Newcastle. <laughs>